Hi my lovelies, I hope you're all well. So today I'm going to show you how to slice layer. The first thing we're going to do is go into images in design space. We're going to come up to category and select all images. And then we're going to go to highlighted categories and image sets. I love searching within the image sets because I find you get a much better result. This set is absolutely gorgeous. It's Kawaii Halloween. And in here, you'll find the images not only as cuts, but as draw and printing cuts as well. I'm going to scroll down and find the image that I really like, which is this little cute guy here. And we're then going to insert him to our canvas. I can, of course, use my canvas zoom to zoom in. However, I'm just going to make him a lot larger. I will obviously need to remember to resize him before I cut him though. So if we look in our layers panel, which is going to be your best friend for this, we can see that we've got six layers here. Now three of those layers, although they are slightly different, they are virtually the same. And this is where slice layering makes a huge difference because rather than cutting out three of virtually the same layer, we're going to reduce two of those right down to just their individual elements that we need. So we're not going to waste loads of vinyl. The other thing that slice layering is great for is if, for example, I wanted a glitter material base, I'm going to struggle to apply these other layers on top. So by creating slice layering, I'm actually not layering on top of each other. I'm layering within of each other. The other thing is, is that this then makes layering super easy because it's just like putting a really simple jigsaw puzzle together. Everything just slots into place. I use slice layering with vinyl, with iron on, even with cardstock where it's appropriate. And I do find it's a fantastic method for several reasons. So the first thing I'm going to do is ungroup my layers so that they become individual layers and they're no longer connected. So we're gonna start nice and easy to start with. And just to make this really simple, I'm going to hide the layers that I'm not working with. So to hide your layers, you're going to come over to your layers panel and you'll see there's a little eye. We're just going to select the eye to hide those layers, but they will stay in the same position so that when I bring them back, they're exactly where I left them, which is what we want for this. We don't want to be moving our elements around. Now I've left two layers because you can only slice two layers at a time. There's two ways you can select your layers. You can either draw around them and you'll see that your selected layers go a darker gray in your layers panel. And this is always worth checking because if you are going to slice and you have more than two layers selected, your slice will not be available. So always check your layers panel because if you've got more than two layers selected, your layers panel will show this. The other way in which you can select your layers is to click on one in the layers panel, hold down your shift key on your keyboard, and then select the other. We can then slice our leaves into that base layer. Now you'll see if I hide my colored leaves, I've got my base result and then I've got my slice result. If I hide the layer below, I'm going to take away the base cut. If I bring it back and hide the leaves behind that, you'll see how I've then sliced them out of that base layer. I've then got a choice. I can either keep my brown leaves or my original color leaves. I'm going to keep my original color leaves and so I'm going to delete that slice result. And you'll see when I bring my leaves back, they're just gonna sit nicely within that base cut. I'm gonna keep those hidden and I'm going to unhide my stem. 
You currently can't see my stem because it's below my base layer. So all I'm going to do is make sure it's selected. And again, in the layers panel, you'll know it's selected because it goes a slightly darker gray. We're going to come up to arrange and center front just so that we can see it. And then again, we're going to select both of those layers. So I'm going to select my stem, hold down my shift key and then select my base layer. I can then come down to the bottom and slice. Again, that leaves me with an extra layer now. So instead of two layers, I've got three. I've got my original stem piece my base piece and then I've got a duplicate of my stem piece in my base color. So that one is the one that I'm going to get rid of but if you're ever unsure just hide one and then hide the other and you can then work out which one you want to delete. So I'm going to delete the duplicate that's in the base color and I can delete that. If I bring back my stem and my leaves, you'll then see how this is starting to take shape. So I'm just going to hide my base for a moment and we're going to look at these three layers here. So this is our first layer. This is our next layer. And then we've got another layer. They're all very similar apart from a few different pieces. So we're going to start with this one first and we're going to go arrange and center front and then we're going to bring back our base layer. Again, I'm going to select that layer, hold down my shift key, select my base layer and then slice. Exactly the same as before, we've got our orange face We've then got our base layer and then we've got the duplicate of our face in our base layer color. So again, if you're ever unsure, we can hide both of those to check which one we want to delete. So we're going to delete this one by coming up to the top and selecting delete. And then we can bring back this one and you can see that this is really now starting to take shape. We're going to hide these three layers and then we're going to bring back this layer at the bottom. And again, I'm going to arrange and center front. Now you'll see the only difference between these two pieces is that cheat cut out. So rather than cutting out this whole layer, we don't need to because we only actually want the little cheeks. So again, I'm going to select this layer, hold down my shift key, select this one and slice. This time we've got our face layer that we want to keep and we're going to hide that and then you can see we've got our little cheeks and then the exact copy of that mask layer. So we are actually going to delete that one so we're left with just those little cheeks. And again, if we bring these back, you can see how that's then starting to really take shape. I'm going to hide these pieces and I'm going to bring this bottom piece back and then we're going to arrange and center front. And you'll see we've got just a few extra cuts that we need to remove. Now, some of you may be wondering, well, if this has got more of those removals, why didn't we slice this one out first? The reason being is because of these cuts here. If we slice this one first, it's then gonna cause problems when we try and slice out our other face pieces. So doing it in this order works a lot better. I'm going to select that layer, hold down my shift key and select my base layer. And I'm then going to slice. Now this time you'll see we actually end up with four layers. So instead of two, we normally get three, but now we've got four. 
we've got our main part of our face and if I hide that you'll then see those extra pieces we want to keep those because they're the same color as our face so we're just going to hide those for now we've then got our base piece which we can hide and then that leaves us with a duplicate of our colored cuts so we can delete that one if we then bring back our two layers that are the same color we can see that they are meant to be together so all we're going to do is draw around them and weld them so that they go from being two layers to one layer now we are nearly done but if we bring back our full mask layer you'll see that actually it's going to sit under this layer here and all we're actually going to see are those lines so we don't actually want to cut this whole layer out we don't need to so we're going to hide the base layer and then bring back our top face layer exactly the same as before we're going to select this layer hold down our shift key and select the one that's going to create the stripes we can then slice again if we look at our layers panel we've created four layers so the top two if we look at those again they're the same color it's just that it's separated them again so we're going to hide those because we want to keep those we've then got two layers of the same color left we've got the sliced out lines and we've got the face because we've already got the face in our other color we don't need this so we can delete it because actually all we want are those little lines I'm just going to hide those and bring back my two top layers and again we're just going to weld those back together I can then unhide all my pieces now we've cut down our material cuts quite dramatically but we can actually cut them down a little bit further so if I hide that layer and that layer our base layer and our stem you can see our leaves and our cheeks are quite far apart now they are one layer so we can't ungroup them if we want them to cut side by side we're going to have to break this layer up the easiest way to do it where images like this are far away is to actually just get a shape we can get a circle we're going to do the cheeks first so we're going to hide the leaves I'm going to bring my circle over my cheeks highlight and then slice and that's going to create individual layers so that I can actually cut my cheek pieces out side by side without this gap and then I can manually place them which of course because we've created all these slice layers it's going to be really easy to position these I'm going to get rid of that circle and the duplicate in the base color I can then hide my cheeks and I can do the exact same thing with my leaves so if I just bring my cheeks back and we go to make it because I've separated my cheeks they are right next to each other and of course I can move them manually around the mat with the leaves I can't so I am actually going to end up wasting this whole area of material so if I cancel this we can just hide our cheek pieces go to shapes grab a circle place that round we can either draw round or of course we can use our layers panel and our shift key and I can then slice and it's then going to allow me to have those leaves right next to each other but of course I can then manually place them when it comes to transferring the other thing that this is really great for is that 
If you're using textured vinyls or textured iron-ons, this is great because quite often with textured vinyl, when you start layering, you'll see the patterns or the textures underneath and it looks awful. It really does. So this also prevents that from happening because you're not layering on top of anything. You are layering within each other. We can, of course, then go to make it. Don't forget that you can move them around the mat and you want to often rotate your mats as well and you also want to try and utilise the whole space of your mat because you do find that you end up with the same corner being used time and time again when actually you've got a whole mat that you can use. We can then go to continue and we can of course select our machine and our cut settings for each of our mats depending on what materials we're going to be using. Mm -hmm. 